modelling here at Boxster Airfield. That's it. Confused for a minute. Uh, welcome to um, a channel update. Long overdue. Been quite busy the last few weeks. My son has <coughs> had to have surgery, and there's been a few other little things going on. So um, I haven't been posting much, and I certainly haven't been viewing many videos. But that's the way it is. I'm trying to catch up. I've been playing catch up for the last probably three or four years and I never seem to catch up so um, there we go you have to bear with me anyway I had a nice um, nice couple of hours out with Ian the UK scale modeler yesterday and a really nice really nice man he is most enjoyable talking models nice man I had to force him to go to the local model shop like you do and um, as you can see by the introduction, <coughs> I took him around the box to the airfield as well because he's got a model P47 to build that flew from there and hopefully that will inspire him to um, get it built. As for myself, I'm, um, I'm currently building a couple of these. I'm building the J21A and the J, sorry, the J22A and the J22. And uh, I was hoping I would have them done by now, but unfortunately, I had a decal disaster on both of them. The um, decals just did not like Microsoft and Microsoft. <coughs> I had them swivel up, so I sanded them down, I will remove them, repaint the models, and redecorate them. Hopefully, it'll turn out better because I won't use Macro 7, Macro Sol on them, I'll use diluted clear or something like that. The main project I started before I started the J22s was this Airfix Hampton which will be built as a uh, Russian torpedo bomber. The main issue there is I want to put a torpedo in it and I can't find anything in the right size. They use both British and Russian made torpedoes. And uh, <coughs> I ordered a Russian torpedo online for the Russian type and it's much too large for the bomb bay. And, uh, I nicked a torpedo, of a, the British torpedo from an old swordfish. That's slightly too large as well, but I might try and do some modifications on that. Um, recently bought kits. A MiG-21. Another MiG-21. And uh, yesterday, when I was out with Ian, I bought this. It took me a lot of persuasion to persuade myself, you know, to, to buy it, but sometimes, you know, I quite like the old tool kits from Airfix, but this is a brand new one, and I'm going to do an inbox review of it, of it later. It looks really, really good in the box, maybe slightly over-engineered, but I'll count it up and I've had a proper look at it. And um, the best bit about it is it comes in the was decals for a German one and one used in Spain by Legion Condor however you pronounce it and um, yeah I'll probably do the Spanish one and my plan is as much as I can stick to any of my plans is to build it together with the old Stuka which comes with Italian markings just to compare the two kits the kits of yesterday and the kit of today and see how they've changed the way they manufacture the kits and, and all that could be quite an interesting comparison build a home 
Anyway, that's the um, update for now. My uh, Spitfires, my Spitfires are still in the same state as last time. My Mustang hasn't gone anywhere, and uh, oh yeah, I started. I started a MiG-23 as well. It's another World Airfix kit. And it got this far. It's, you know, workable wings and all that. And uh, it will be finished. It's just that I got sidetracked by other things. Oh yeah, so that's, that explains why I've been away. That explains what I'm going to do. And um, that's it for me. Happy modeling, everybody. Bye. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> Great start, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, should we try that again? Yeah, try that.